Hey everyone, Power Turtle Buster here, and we are going to be taking a look at the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Vintage line. Um, yeah, uh, there is red, blue, pink, yellow, green, black, and Odd Man Out white. Reason why he's the Odd Man Out? Because once they switched over from green to white ranger, I had the figure still, and dragons and everything so it's like you know do I just throw them out or what and I'm not doing that so I considered green to be the official ranger over white so white I don't know he again he's just an odd man out um yeah uh red's in pretty good condition so is blue uh, they're a little beat up because again they're vintage uh, what I do wish the um, line did oh sorry I'm all over the place black is pretty damaged right here and pink opposite because of how they were stored they like rubbed or whatever but yeah what I do wish they did with the line or would do now with the legacy figures is to add these coins in the chest. I think, you know, a uh, exclusive line with the coin would be pretty awesome. They're coming out with the metallic ones. I think that would be a great opportunity to do that. But, you know, that's just me. Also, always found this Zord weird. <laughs> like, I don't know, it's, I'm not sure what that is. Like, I guess it's a dragon, I don't know, but. I always thought it was cool but weird at the same time because I haven't seen it anywhere else. So yeah, um, articulation for these guys were awesome. Like really, you got up, a little bit up, a little bit down, waist swivel, outwards and up rotation, bicep swivel which the movie legacy figures don't have uh, up and down on the wrist elbow joint enough to do the uh, oh finger articulation even with the one trigger finger but yeah enough to get the uh, Regisort on you know type pose uh, let me know if I'm too close to the camera on these videos because I feel like I'm awfully close so yeah, uh, I don't have the weapons out, but I do have them. I'm not sure exactly where, <laughs> but I do have them. Um, yeah, up, down, on the leg, knee, articulation, thigh swivel, and the joint on the foot. And you get some pretty awesome poses with these. I mean, really, for them to come off as limited as they are, these are some highly poseable figures. I mean that's that's something uh, they never came with the weapons no power axe no power sword or anything back then so everyone's upset about the weapons missing with the new figures it's like well you know the vintage line pretty much did the same thing so but you know we're getting the metallic one with the weapons so that's something but yeah, uh, yeah, I, I like them. I mean, the belt looks cool. It's just a simple red. Here's why I don't mind the silver on the uh, New Ranger belts, because the vintage one had them. Uh, I don't know if it was an era back then also or what, but yeah, the uh, the whole silver belt thing was. You know, some that stapled from the uh, vintage line. Again, pink got the most damage. Overall, the condition of my figures are pretty good. Like I said, besides little marks here, legs and arms are phenomenal. I mean, I'm surprised I had them in this greatest shape all this time without packaging. <laughs> Which... I believe they were tossed. I don't know. Looking forward to the movie, the movie that's coming out. 
Sorry, I'm stumbling on my words. Because I'm distracted by this guy. Who, I don't know, White Ranger's kind of overrated. I mean, he's cool and all, but give me green. White Ranger, it, I don't know, he clearly doesn't really belong. Um, they made it work, but, you know, I'm not going to abandon green for white, you know. So, yeah, uh, all the figures throughout got the same articulation. Got the little blocky build to them, but awesome. I love it. <laughs> it's perfect toy-wise. Uh, the girls also have the same body type. So, again, they all look good in unison, but, you know, um, it's a great time to be a Power Ranger fan right now. It's simple as that. Also, closer look at Saba. We'll take him out, but it's so bad trying to put him away <laughs> and take him out that case. It's, you know, let me take him out just for old time's sakes. This thing hasn't been removed from this holster in years. Like, I don't know, like 90s. So, you guys get to see it first. Me remove Saba. Well, you didn't see me remove it. I did it off camera, but you get the gist of what I mean. So yeah, this is excellent. I mean, especially for the time that it came out. This sculpt is awesome. So, yeah, closer look at the shield. A lot of times when people get their shield, these uh, nibs break. See, there's four. And they're supposed to fit in. But, you know, being a cool figure collector is always been and not damaging toys and everything. It's pretty good condition. Um, yeah, uh, there's not really too much more to say about these guys except I will be displaying them with the uh, new figures and hopefully... Uh, do an update video of my collection so everyone can see what I have so far um yeah just come back and see if I upload anything anytime soon which I would say within the next week I would do so or probably when Yellow Ranger comes out yeah I'm gonna do it when Yellow Ranger comes out so just look forward to that uh, like subscribe also, Green Ranger feet is incorrect. He has diamonds on his gloves and boots when he said have the dragon teeth design. Uh, yeah, and white belt is incorrect. <laughs> but that's it. I'm going to get out of here. So yeah, like, subscribe, uh, comment. Let me know how you guys liking the videos and the audios and everything. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Power Turtle Buster, out.